The next train to depart from the rear of platform 7 will be the Placement goods engine, I presume? That is correct, sir. The diesel that was supposed to bring the train overturned in the yard. Wasn't keeping a good lookout. You know how self-importance gets in the way with some engines. <laughs> Indeed I do. What is your name? Dudley, sir. Pleasure to traverse your rails. Very good, Dudley. The shunter will deal with your trucks from here. Please proceed to the sheds. I'm sure you'll be in good company with my engines. Thank you, sir. I wish you a most pleasant evening. The engines welcomed Dudley warmly, and soon they were laughing and talking like schoolchildren. <laughs> and so, after dragging him halfway across the island, that cheeky little tank engine soon learnt some manners. Such a lovely life you all lead here. A pity my stay is but a temporary one. You're blessed to have a controller that knows your value. My days are numbered on the other railway. Ugh, a grim inevitability. Inevitable, my tender. We could change that. Besides, the fat controller has just purchased all of her ad- uh, Ah! Here comes our other latest acquisition now. Hello. I'm Bear. You must be Dudley. Lovely to meet you. Mutual, I'm sure. Will you be staying long, or...? I say, rumor has it, one of you once rescued two failed diesels and their trains. That was me. It's quite a story. He gave me the coal buffer as well. Living on the other railway likely hasn't painted us diesels in a very good light. Hey, didn't take it to heart, Bear. Dougie and I needed time to come round. He'll find you're a good sort. You'll see. I hope so. The next morning, Dudley was preparing to return to the other railway. It was a pleasure making your acquaintance. If our paths never cross again, I wish you all dry rails and smooth running. Ah, uh, what a shame. I wish there was something we could do. He seems like a good sort. Things always work out in the end for honest, hard-working engines. The engines only hoped that Bear was right. That morning, Donald brought coaches for Henry's first train to the platform. He'd shunted them into place and hurried off to prepare a goods train. Before long, Henry came back into the station. He was looking forward to a run in the morning when... Oh, boy! The coaches are fell into points! Oh, no! Stop! Stop! His brakes screeched, but it was too late. Henry's tender was derailed, resting crooked against the battered coaches. Oh. Soon, the fat controller arrived. Donald cleared away the unheard coaches, while Dudley brought the breakdown cranes. How on earth did this happen? I can I say, sir? Young coaches were at the platform on my left. Hmm, some defect with the brakes, no doubt. I'm afraid this means a trip to the works for you, Henry. This puts us in an awkward position. I, I'm sorry, sir. Excuse me, sir. May I be of assistance? 
I won't exactly be busy on the other railway, and I'm sure my controller can spare me to make up for Henry's absence. A splendid idea, Dudley. I will make the arrangements. In the meantime, could you please escort Henry to the works? Of course, sir. Henry's tender was soon re-ranked, and Dudley buffered up in front. There, there, old boy, you'll soon be as right as rain. And I'll handle your trains with the utmost care. As Dudley pulled Henry away, Donald looked on with suspicion. What is he still doing here? He should have left ages ago. Strange. Very strange. 